Like I showed this one crawfish place I love. Oh my gosh, these people ready to fight me. The line already be long. Well, it's about to be longer, baby. Bring a chair, bring a chair. <laughs> and I'm back with another question and answer. I know I just gave you guys a life update question and answer, but I wanted to strictly focus this one on YouTube questions and you guys went in. So I will tell you right now that if you randomly stumbled across this video, we have a sponsor and we gotta pay these bills, honey. So let's talk about this hair from You Nice Hair. If you're not interested in seeing the hair part, I will time stamp it right here to where you can skip to, but let's move on. So let's get into what we were sent. This is a pink box unit's hair. I just did a review for them. So that means I love them. I love this company so much. There's a bag in case you don't want to keep the box. Here's a bag of goodies. Let's get inside of it. There's a wig cap. They are HD. There are press on nails off in here and you will get an edge band to tie your hair down with as well. When I went and looked in the bottom of the box, there were more HD wig caps. You can never have too many of those. They are bum. And some clips to clip your hair back when you are styling it here's all of the details 13 by 4 this is transparent this is 24 inches long and it is a straight unit there is tape in here because this is a tape wig and a band to wear it glueless so this is the wig right here bust down middle part yes off black and i absolutely love the lace everything is pre the knots are pre-bleached the lace is pre-cut and it is pre-plugged there are two tape adhesives on the side of this wig so you can use tape you do not have to glue it down or anything i am going to show you guys how to do it both ways so that is what you see right there and at the back is an adjustable strap and a comb so you can put the uh, band in here sorry i almost couldn't get that out to where it glueless and let's move it on i'm going to use my foundation to tint the inside of the lace the color of my skin so when i take my pictures there's not a flashback just use any brush with that. Let's put the wig on and play with it and see how it fits straight on the head without anything being done to it. I'm just really adjusting it right now just to see what I am working with. So like I said, you can wear this wig as a tape wig, but I am going to adhere it down as well. So I'm going to show you guys both ways. I'm checking to make sure that middle part is straight and it's not. Get over there. <laughs> so that's what you have right there. Let's brush this out so I can see what I'm working with. You guys know I love me a bust down middle part. So I'm always super excited to get these wigs. This is one of those simple almost throwing and go type wigs. This is is also a great wig for people who don't know how or like to use the glue or the gel um, you just put it on and go basically look at that hairline it is plucked to perfection to look so natural and I'm gonna put the comb under here so you can see baby that's a hairline that's a hairline so let's just um, pin this up clip this up so we can see what we are working with and get to styling the wig so i'm just going to use a bear clip is that what those are called a claw clip and i'm going to put the comb in at the back to make sure it it is adhered to my head so this tape is really simple all you do is peel the blue backing off the tape and then stick the wig to your forehead your skin and what i do is just press it down really really tight to make sure it's on there good i love these tape or yeah these tape installs is super easy so just do the exact same thing on the other side and this wig is cut to perfection I didn't even have to mess with the ear tabs or anything I'm taking my wax stick everything I use is always linked below the video right up under where the details of the wig um, is located so I'm just gonna flatten this out because I like to see the hairline So just remember, I will link this wig below along with a discount code, along with a lot of information about Eunice hair. It will all be linked below the video. So look how good and tight that is. So if you want to go like that, you're good to go. I do still tie it down with the edge band so that the tape could go ahead and stick to my head. And yeah, we're in there good. But I'm going to put 
some spray down to go ahead and melt the lace as you can see you do not have to do this i just do this because i'm pretty rough and i'm pretty active and i'm always moving around this collar bees body and i just want to make sure that it really really stayed to my head so i'm going to dry that and tie it back down i'm taking my foundation to go ahead and put it on my forehead and blend that lace in as you guys can see the difference on the side i am putting it on and then on the other side you can see a white cast showing it to you right there so that's why i do that i'm putting some powder on my part to define it a little bit more even though it's a pretty big size part and so let's go ahead and work on styling it we're back with this wax stick that hairline is popping this wig is popping i love eunice hair they have so many different type of wigs you guys know that i just reviewed this beautiful beautiful like copper brown wig from them um they have colored wigs curly straight bobs bang wigs whatever you want over there pick your poison and you can split your wig up into quit and quit <laughs> split and quad pay options guys if you want, don't want to pay for the whole thing up front so i'm just bumping through it really slightly with the flat iron and it is some bum bum hair so please check you in this hair out guys i will make sure that i leave everything below and don't forget to check them out and thank you for sponsoring this question and answer Okay, now that you have a sped up version of how I do my hair, we're going to go into depth doing my hair and makeup and answer these questions, guys. Are you ready? Let's go. So I heard y'all ready for some tips. We're going to be doing our hair and makeup while we talk about these tips. Um, so if you just randomly found this video, this was going on. My regulars kind of already know how I do this. If you're interested in this makeup look that I am doing, I do it all the time. And I have a full video on it on my makeup channel that I will link right here or below the video. And it is a step by step because I'm going to go... I'm just gonna work okay so let's get straight into the video so i'm just gonna start this video by saying the title say how to become a millionaire off of youtube i'm not a millionaire but i have touched a milli <laughs> doing youtube and i have been on I, my first video dropped in 2010 then i took a year break so 2011 2012 consistently um but i did not touch my first i did not I was not able to live comfortably off of YouTube until roughly 2015. So that means I was in the game a long time before I even saw money. I take that back. I wasn't able to live comfortably until like 2017. I was making money, but it wasn't anything to quit my day job which wasn't a day job. I was a makeup artist over. But I will tell you this, when I did retire from makeup, I was able to make way more money as a content creator or an influencer because I could concentrate on it more. So I just wanted to put that out there first before we got into the questions. Um, some people come right out the mud making money. Like my daughter started a channel and literally was making thousands <laughs> in two months. But she done stopped posting. So what they tell you? Stay consistent because she stopped posting and it threw out the algorithm. You got to stay consistent. Just get the content out, guys. So now let's hop into the questions. <laughs> okay, so let's just start by saying when I ask these questions, I always ask them on Instagram because a lot of you guys say, I miss out on the questions. So they've been my Instagram story. So follow me on Instagram. It is linked below. Um, all of my socials are linked below. I just drop all of my moisturizer on my thigh and I'm going to get it because LMS is high. <laughs> um, and that's where I ask these questions just in case you were wondering so how do you feel when you see your advertisements running okay if you guys didn't know like a lot of times you can work with companies and they can take parts of your video or your whole video if it's like a real TikTok or something and run it as an ad. I'm going to be 100% transparent with you at first I used to be so excited no no I didn't it's I was and I wasn't. I would be so excited because I'm like, oh my gosh, I'm in an ad all over Facebook. And imagine being my enemy and you just scrolling on Facebook or Instagram and I'm just all over. No, I'm just playing. But um, I don't have enemies. I love everybody. Oh, well, that don't mean they love me, huh? But no, it's very um 
card on me too because whoo that opens up the floodgates for people to talk about you i remember scentbird or some company ran an ad on me and they were calling me ghetto they was talking about my wig because i had on like a little short red wig and then it was people in the comments like but y'all don't know who that is and um and everybody was talking about my but they was talking about it in a good way they were talking about my makeup and i was just like oh my gosh people so that ain't mean but you guys be going to bat for me in them comments and that's the part i don't like like People are going to talk, and I don't want you guys stressing yourself out arguing with people. I mean, it is what it is. I'm on this platform. I'm not on this platform to be bullied, but it's going to happen. So, uh, it's bittersweet. And it's say, I don't remember if you are managed by anyone. If you are, would you recommend it? If not, what is your preference? Okay, so the thing with being managed, when I first started YouTube, I was managed by a group of me and everybody and their mama signed to this agency called Style Hall. So what Style Hall did was, um, oh, can I even say them? Everybody, when they did their videos and they quit them and stuff, they was they was calling them Style Mall, Style, all this other kind of stuff to protect themselves. But what Style Hall did was like contacted a lot of micro influencers and they pushed the big influencers so that we would get on their team. So what they would do is say, um, they would say, oh, come work for us. We can make sure you get more CPM, which is the rate that Google pays us for advertising in front of our videos. We can make sure you get brand deals. Look what we did for so-and-so channel. Look what we did for so-and-so channel. So you like, oh, I'm down. And then when you sign with them, all they doing is taking a cut of your money and sending you a, a makeup bag for Christmas and they pushing all of their bigger influencers these deals and stuff not you and so we all realized oh this is a bit of a rip off and we was all trying to get out of those contracts well eventually they let us out of our contracts and i haven't heard anything else from them so i said all that to say ever since then i have been scared as hell to sign with an agency i feel like if i'm getting these brand deals on my own do i really need an agency but then i'm also like these agencies can give me bigger deals and and better deals if they are a real agency because there are a lot of fake ones out here and if they already got pulled I know somebody contacted me recently and I let them think they was really pulling it over on me and then I went in and they stopped responding they was like you need to put our email address in your bio anything and I said wait a minute that doesn't make any sense if I'm already booking deals on my own why would I put y'all address in my bio and have my money forwarded to your account so you can cut me a cut of what I was already getting on my own. And so I was like, let's meet up. I fly to you. You really want me on your team? Like, stop responding. So be careful, guys. There are going to be a lot of fake companies emailing you, a lot of fake agencies. Uh, I'm Walmart. I'm this. I'm Forever 21. And guys, no, 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 no. So anyway, I'm scared as heck. But if it's a noted agency, um, I really don't think agencies like me though because like I tell y'all all the time I, I'm not I wasn't I didn't start this to make money and so it's kind of hard for me to transition over into a content creator I'm more of a beauty influencer and there's a different content creators plan their content get up every day take pictures and I just go find a hidden spot in Dallas and tell y'all about it I'm an influencer so I, I think a lot of people I'm kind of like hard to work with <laughs> which is fine it's a market for everybody so a lot of agencies and stuff don't really approach me they like the cookie you know what I, I always have to think really hard on what I say because people get offended by everything I say but I can only be me it's more like the cookie cutter the easy to market the smiley the lifestyle type people and I ain't that child <laughs> I'll come on here in my moo moo and my bunny and say hey it's a sale at Walgreens you get know what I'm saying? So anyway, that's that. So next up, how do you get paid for every reel and selfie? Wait, hold on. How do I get paid for every reel and selfie I post, especially when tagging brands? Oh, that's a hard question because <laughs> why do you feel like you're supposed to get paid for every reel? Like you don't get paid for everything you do as a content creator. Um as your reels and stuff build 
TikTok, Instagram, and all them will contact you and say, hey, we want to start paying for your reels, da da da. They call it bonus plays or something like that, and you build your money every month. As far as your pictures, you need to have sponsorships and stuff with these brands. YouTube not just paying you to post no pic. I mean, YouTube, Instagram, they not just paying you to post no picture, honey. The brands will pay you to post a picture using their products. So I hope that's clear. That's the clearest I can explain that because that, that's kind of a hard question. I think a lot of you guys, it's so many ways we get paid on YouTube. That's for one. We have affiliate links. We have sponsorships. We have Google revenue. We have um, upfront. We have commission. We have selling stuff. Like it's so many ways we get paid. So you can't just box everything up into one. But yeah, that's the, that's the best I can answer that, baby. You can't just start an Instagram and start getting paid. Like, you have to be accepted into certain programs, just like on YouTube. You can't just start a YouTube channel and start getting paid. You have to become a YouTube partner first, which takes so many hours of video, um, uh, people watching your videos, so many videos up. It's not just cutthroat, like, I'm going to start my channel today. And you can. Now, if you start your channel today and blow, you can. You can have companies reach out to you and say, hey, I want to pay you to show this in your video right now. I've even been to like Sally Beauty events and stuff and the brands were in there and they were like, if I give you X amount of dollars, can you post about our brand right now on your Instagram? And can. It's just so many ways to make money on here. So don't box yourself all up and please don't think you can just post a picture on Instagram and make money. That's not how it goes. So moving right along, that same person said, no, next person, how do you feel when you see your ass running? Don't remember if you are managed. Okay, that's the same question. Would you ever consider doing a collaboration on your makeup channel? Just a fun, just a fun girl gab, TOS? I don't know what all that is. Um, I did collaborations a lot back in the day. And they are very beneficial. Like, very, very beneficial. So, yeah, I would. Um, collaborations can be a number of things. You hook up with another YouTuber and y'all show each other on their ch your channel. Uh, y'all both decide to do the same type of video. Like, let's show them how to do a black smoky eye. And then I direct them to your video and you direct them to mine. Collaboration. It's a lot of ways to collaborate with other YouTubers. Y'all can go on a trip together. Um, you know, little stuff like that. Y'all can work with a brand together, but yeah, I'll consider it on my makeup channel because as you guys can see on um, this channel, I don't too much collaborate anymore because I feel like collaboration, when you collaborate, it brings a lot of people to your channel, but will it keep them interested in your channel? And so now, like now, I have all of these big numbers and the views, well, that's a whole nother story. I'm shadow banned. That's a fact. But the views don't match because these people came over from so-and-so channel and I couldn't hold their interest. So, you know, it's a give and take on this platform. But yeah, I would consider collaborating on my makeup channel. So the next question, it's a lot, so I'm going to just let it flow. What editing software do you use? So I use Corel, I use iMovie, and I use CapCut. So it depends on what type of video I'm editing and why. I'm not that person that's into editing and all of that. If if I can get the content out to out to y'all, I'm gonna get the content out to y'all. It don't have to be um, three. It don't have to be seven K stuff flying all across the screen, which I love. I just don't know how to do it. And I, I never knew that YouTube would be like, or influencing would be my full-time job because I was like a really popping makeup artist in Dallas. And I'm not bragging, y'all, because somebody just said that under my last question and answer. They like, I like you, but you brag too much. And my mouth dropped because I don't even think I brag at all. People talk about me all day. When you gonna move? When you go up, go to your updated house? Why you, when you go get a new Benz? Why you don't go on trips like this? And then when I pop my shit, y'all say I'm bragging. I can't win for losing on this app, but everybody got an opinion, and I'm cool with it. Your opinion might not be right or something I agree with, but you have the right to feel that way. But I'm not a bragger. I feel like I'm very humble. But anyway, said all that to say, if the editing software worked for me, it works. For TikTok, 
Instagram, I like to use CapCut. I love CapCut. It's so easy. Just plug those little clips in. My video is ready in two minutes. For Instagram, I mean for YouTube, I use iMovie because it comes with the Mac. And Corel, which you have to download when I want like a lot of extra stuff in it. But a lot of YouTubers use Final Cut Pro. I've never had the desire to use it, but I'm not going to say I'm never not going to have the... I'm, why did I use that double negative like that? Well, this ain't English class. I'm not going to ever use it like that, you know. So, that's that. All of those are free except CapCut. CapCut is like $89 a year. That's really inexpensive. Or not even a year to download it. So, what are the steps in getting paid from YouTube? Is there a program to sign up for? Okay, we kind of touched on that a little bit. First, you just start. Um, you got to get your watch time up. So, there's a certain amount of watch time that you have to get up. So, for instance, I just started my makeup channel and I made partner in like two weeks because... I kind of cheated because I told people to come over from this channel and then my video views was good and so you have to have so many subscribers I think a thousand I want to say 4,000 hours of watch time if I'm wrong I'll scroll it across the screen and um, YouTube will accept you into a partnership program it's called YouTube partner so after you are a YouTube partner, what happens then is you're able to monetize your video. So you know the ads shall be skipping, we get paid a, a portion of that. And so Google pays us for that. That's the check we get every month around the 20th through the 22nd, depending on if it's a holiday week and all that. So that's one way. Then after you get your numbers up and etc., brands will start reaching out to you to show your products show their products for them and you can either do a shout out a mention a full video you can just wear it you can show it and that's when you negotiate your price with them every youtuber price is different but get with youtubers that's in the same numbers as you or you can go to social blue book and it'll tell you don't give it no youtubers because it's not nobody business what you make they make and all that go to social blue book and it will tell you per your numbers per your everything what you should be charging then after you get a rep after you are in good with some of these companies they have affiliate links where you get a portion of every sale so if i say buy this foundation i'm not going to show the name because it doesn't apply to this company if 20 people buy that foundation and click my link or use my discount code i'll get a percentage of that and then another hustle we have on here is um selling stuff now not pr because i know a lot of people have a problem with us selling our wigs but these wigs are not sent to us for free <laughs> i repeat these wigs are not sent to us for free child this is our job we are working all right because they be like y'all be selling them free wigs no these people got pictures out of us they got a shout out out of us they got a video out of us they got a commercial out of us this is my wig <laughs> so um after I wear it, like, I don't know if I ever wear this wig anymore. I sell it gently used. It, that's just what it is. And a lot of people buy them. And a lot of YouTubers do them. Now, me, myself, I don't overprice my wigs. But I know some YouTubers will wash their wig and take $20 off of what it was on the side. And you're like, <laughs> my wigs are very inexpensive. They barely go over $150. So, that's another way to make money. Um, And I'm trying to think of something if I'm missing out. No, I'm speaking strictly on YouTube. Now, Instagram, TikTok, the same thing. You can be sponsored by a brand or you can um, monetize with that network. So, I hope that answered your question. You got to start though because you got to build those hours and that content and those watch hours and stuff up so that you can monetize. So the same, per girl, you asked a lot of questions, but yes, I like that. I like that. I like that a lot. If I say, ask me anything, I really want y'all to ask me anything. If I don't want to answer it, I just say, I don't want to answer it. Okay, guys. So the next question is, how do you get brand deals, sponsorships, or just get on PR lists? So how do I personally, 98.5% nine 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 percent of the people reach out to me 
I don't know how the companies find us and etc. If you know, feel free to chime in um, below. I have no idea how the companies find us. They'll just write you out the blue and say, hey, I'm so-and-so. I love your channel. I love your Instagram. Can we send you products? And it's up to you whether you say, yeah, just go ahead and send them or you say, yeah, for a fee. You send back your media card, which is how much you charge. It's kind of like you bragging on yourself. It's how much you charge. It tell you. It tells them other companies you've worked with, um, what you've done for other companies. Like, I can always say I um, helped launch Shop Miss A. I broke the internet when the first the site first launched, and now they have over a hundred stores throughout Texas. You know, I'm making up numbers, so don't listen to my numbers. I'm using all this as an example. Um, I mean, it's true about me breaking the internet with them, but I don't know about their numbers. And so that's, that's what you pitch back to them. And also we do have sites like um, Refluence. It used to be Aspire, Social Blue Book. Um, we have different sites that we can sign up on. The site that used to be called Octorly, which is now Keepers. And you can pitch yourself to these brands on there or the brands can find you on there as well. But with all of those sites, you have to have a certain amount of subscribers and views and stuff as well. So it's basically about building your channel first. And then whether you guys know it or not, a lot of these companies are linked and owned by the same people. So if you get on one person PR, you kind of like on a lot of people PR, honestly, which is scary, but it's the truth. Have you ever been watching us and we say, I don't know how this company got my address. That's because they're the same as this company. Pixie and Pop, the same company, you know. Um, like a Estee Lauder brand is the Estee Lauder brand. It could be Mac, Estee Lauder, Smashbox, Tom Ford, you know. So that's why sometimes if you flop with one company, you can flop with a whole bunch of other ones. And I've done it a whole bunch of times. I just lost the sponsorship yesterday. I almost made me sick to my stomach. I didn't deliver in time for their contract, but I'm literally nine sponsorships behind right now. So I can, it's only one me. And unless I daily post, I don't know. I, I can only do what I can do, you know? So I need to learn how to not take so many sponsorships at one time. But honestly, I didn't. Um, you accept them and then life happens like I've been going through some things and I fell behind. I fell short. So I 100% I, I respect the company because I haven't had this problem in a long time. But at the same time, my mental health comes first. So I will happily send your product or whatever back to you so that um, you can find somebody else. And I can move on to one of these companies that respected that I'm a human and I needed a little bit more time. So... I hope that answered that. That's how you get them deals, girl. Sometimes they, most of the time they reach out to you. But a lot of people just flat out reach out to them. Which I used to didn't like to do because I felt like it was begging. But child, everybody do it. I mean, everybody do it. So, I I can't even remember the last time I've reached out to a company, honestly. I, I think I have but I don't. I just don't. But... I don't see anything at all wrong with it, especially, emphasis on especially if it's something you use out of time anyway. Baby, let me, let me tell you something. Let me tell you something. I said that out of time, y'all. Baby, if you use it, I don't care if it's a cleaning product. Tell them, look, I use y'all and shout y'all out all the time anyway. Let's work out a deal. Or can you send me products to show? At least send me some free product. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? You just got to make it work for you. Everything, it's not a one size fit all industry. You customize everything for you. What I accept, another YouTuber wouldn't accept. What they accept, I probably wouldn't accept. It's some brands that like the money below, but I love their product or I love the company, so I'm not gonna just say no. I use it anyway. Or like if somebody come to you and say, Hey, we got a washer and dryer we want you to review, but we don't have the money to pay you. Can you just accept the washer and dryer? Why would you say no? I mean, you could, but like, if especially if you need a washer and dryer, you know what I'm saying? Just customize the deals, but don't let nobody get up on you because these companies make a lot of money. So don't just let people free product you to death. Mm -mm. But our blessings don't come from 
or say, yeah, you can send it to me free, but I'm going to link my affiliate link through Magic Link, through LTK. That's what I forgot to tell y'all about. And get paid still if that's okay with you. You got to work. You got to work. You got to hustle. You got to you gotta negotiate because like, yeah, you're not paying me, but this is on Walmart. This is on Target. This is on Lowe's and all of them. Take the LTK store. Take the Magic Link store. And I can create a code on LTK or Magic Link, put it under my video and get paid like that. So I'm still going to get paid. Still going to get paid. The motive is to make money in the business. All right. Oh, I thought my big old cup was in the way. Stanley who? One of y'all sent this to me and I'm forever grateful because I went to six stores looking for it. At TJ Maxx, it's purple. Lilac. So, make sure I'm covered. Okay. So, I don't remember where I ended. How do you get brand deals? How, do, how did you remain the GOAT all these years? Love you, auntie. Y'all know that's crazy to me because I don't, I don't, I say that all the time jokingly. But I, I really feel like I get lost in the sauce on here. But I get what y'all saying because even though I feel like I don't get the views and stuff that I, I, um, that match my numbers. I'm still relevant and I'm still, I said this in the last video, doing pretty good. <laughs> awesome, actually, money-wise. So, I, I, I have to stop and realize that there, why is that streaking on me? There are some people who probably wish they was in my position, so I need to stop complaining. Because there are other YouTubers who have been on here over a decade who don't get the deals and the money and stuff like I do. So, I just need to accept what I can that's what one of y'all told me before but um I just remain true to me y'all that's all I can say try not to fold under pressure and just do me honestly just do me be me I know I tried to switch it up for a minute and give y'all what I wasn't and y'all could tell it translate on camera so I ain't gonna say I'm the goat, but we don't see doing good. I'm doing good. Maybe that camera said I've had enough and died on y'all. <laughs> so, love you back, babe. But yeah, I answered that in my last question. And so I just stay true to myself and try not to fall for um, all the chaos that's on here because this is worse than middle school, high school. It's just. Ugh child it gets complicated so the next question say how was your mindset during the process of growing your platform um when i grew my platform it was kind of easy because i grew my platform um doing makeup and that's when everybody wanted to learn how to do makeup so if i can be 100 percent honest growing my platform form wasn't a problem because I started when it wasn't popular like people made fun of us what the heck you doing in that camera you really can make money like that girl and now everybody got a camera right everybody got a phone right so it wasn't hard for me to build because I came in a generation where everybody wanted to learn how to do makeup everybody wanted to learn how to install these lace units that just came out of nowhere and so it was real easy for me to build, but guess what? I built and now I'm stagnant. And that's that's the number of things. And I want you guys to do your research on like a lot of people with older channels. We're all shadow banned. It's not just me. I don't want to name people because every time I name people, it just... I, I, I just don't want to do it because my last vlog, I named some people and people were like... Because my last block, I used people as an example. And people thought I was like real life talking about them. So I'm like, how did you get that out of that? So, um, yeah, it's a lot of us OGs who are shadow banned. And that just means we're out the algorithm. I don't know if YouTube, like, y'all had y'all chance. Get somebody else a chance. But this is just like a job. That's another thing a lot of people always say too. Like, maybe it's just time or you don't think you've but i don't do that with you with your job like 
You get what I'm saying? Like, that's so mean to say to somebody. Like, your job, you want longevity there, especially if it's your job. You want that 20-year plaque, so why can't I want it? My job is just a little different. So... To sum that up, I did not, my mind process growing my platform was nothing because I wasn't concentrating on growing my platform. I think a lot of times you guys start social media and stuff to get rich or because you see other people rich from it. So you're stuck, oh, I gotta grow, I gotta grow, I gotta grow. We didn't have to do that <laughs> because for one, we wasn't making money like that back in the day. We really was doing it for fun. So it's a little different for me. Okay, say so platinum has been the plug. Never gatekeep in a decade. I follow you. Can you say go? Yeah, I don't gatekeep y'all. And you, do y'all know how much I done got criticized over that? I got TikToks and stuff now. People are like, yo, big mouth is why I can't get yo. But it's like these companies and brands and stuff are in business to make money. You can't be the only person spending money with them or they won't make it. Oh, especially like food places. Like, I showed this one crawfish place I love. Oh, my gosh. These people ready to fight me. The line already be long. And, well, it's about to be longer, baby. Bring a chair. Bring a chair. <laughs> but, you know, I just look at it as like, that's why I started this channel. <laughs> to show y'all where to get the hookups and the things cheaper and how to work with what you have. And so, if it's a lick, if it's a plug, I'm going to tell y'all about it. It, by, it backfires on me a lot. Do you know how many times I told y'all about something and then I don't be able to get it? But I feel like y'all worth it because if it weren't for my subscribers, I wouldn't even have a platform I have. So I'm going to share. It is what it is. If it was your business, you would want people to share. Look at it like that. Okay, the next question says, you make vlogging in public seem effortless. When is it most awkward for you? Vlogging is never awkward for me. <laughs> The most they can say is, ma'am, you can't record in here or look at me crazy. I'm going to get that content, though. This is how I get paid. <laughs> and yes, I got other sources of income, but what they got to do with anything? I don't care how many sources of income you got. You still want to maximize your earnings. <laughs> so once you see them checks and once you get them sponsorships, this band is hurting my ear. I just going to have to go. You ain't gonna care who looking at you. Now I will say that I am very respectful. If somebody say put the camera up, I don't argue or nothing like that. Cause there are multiple reasons why people don't want you recording in or around their facility. Number one reason being burglary. A lot of people feel like you casing the joint, which means that you getting a video so you can say after hours, go through that door kick this door in because you have footage to show somebody or something like that but yeah other than that i say you want to be on camera if they looking or they staring or something yeah you can get in but you've got to be careful with that because you just can't have your camera going so i try to concentrate on me i try to blur the background out because what i don't want to be is like i don't want to be at like a steakhouse and you see your husband in the back of my video with somebody else and so now your husband is telling me to take my video down which he can because i didn't get permission to record him even though i wasn't trying to record him um that kind of stuff oh i'm almost done yeah oh i got two whole pages it's a like you've been consistent nearly 15 years so you basically wrote the book Thank you, babe. <laughs> That's so crazy. I was just saying there earlier how y'all think so highly of me. And I'm just like, I'm a shadow man. I need more views. But I understand how you guys say stop focusing on it and just be thankful you are where you at. But just imagine you being on your job at AT&T, Wall Street, or whatever for 11 years because I've been a content creator 11 years. You said I'm almost 15, but and um you feel like they stunting your growth they're not celebrating the fact that you've been with the company so long it's the same thing this is not fun anymore i mean this is not for fun anymore this is a fraction of how i eat how i feed my family 
my extended family, friends, how I take care of people. So I just want what's, what's fair. Like, why am I on TikTok now stopping people are saying, oh my gosh, I miss you. I used to watch you so much back in the day. And then I say, I'm still on there. And they like, what? I post proof all the time. That's devastating. Oh, how did I wing that out talking to y'all? Go. That's <laughs> where. So the next question say, <sighs> Bless me. Mm, this is a duplicate page too. Well, it's not as many as I thought. Okay, would you mentor me? Woo, I get that question so much. Hold up, because I'm gonna spray my lace. I need to cover, I mean spray my head, I need to cover my lace. This mm. and I honestly tell everybody no. Here's, here's why. Hear me out on this. When you have trained your mind, that's why the mind is very powerful. To feel like you're not enough, it's hard for you to help others. And so, when people say, can you mentor me? Can I follow you along? First of all, I'm a very busy person. So, I don't like to commit to something I can't keep up. And my body is too all over the place one day i might feel great the next day i might not and then you'll start saying she keeps standing me up you know what i'm saying that's for one and for two like i just got the talking about the channel being shadow bear that's a lot on me mentally so it's like i feel like how i'm gonna teach you and i can't even get my own channel or whatever out of oh i thought there was some in my nose i was like i know i've been doing this video this whole time Basically, I just need to get my nose hairs clipped. So I'm sparkling in there. But how I'm going to, I feel like, how I'm going to teach you to rope? And uh, my views stuck. My subscribers stuck. <laughs> so, there are a lot of people who mentor now. Some charge. I'm just not in the headspace to do it right now. And I hope you guys understand and respect that. So, that's that. I have been at this for years and it's like padding upstream. And I think that's something, this is the same person. A lot of you guys don't get it either. Did you, I uploaded my first video in 2010. 2010, my daughter was literally like five. My daughter's 19 in a couple of months. I didn't just make it out of nowhere. I have been at this for a long time. Like 2015 ish is when I really started gaining my numbers. And when I started working with a whole bunch of brands and get invited to a whole bunch of stuff. But like I said, I didn't make I didn't make six figures off of this until like 2017 ish. It takes time sometimes. Yes, you do have some overnight success, people. But, like, I guarantee you, if you talk to anybody on this platform who's been doing it a long time, they can tell you they didn't just pop overnight. They didn't. Now, people are able to come along now. And I ain't gonna lie, they do have it a little better than us. Which I ain't hating on. I love it. I love it. Like I said, my daughter channel blew overnight, even though she don't post. But, like for us, whew, child, hang in there. The day you might quit today, or uh, can I be 100% real with y'all without y'all wanting to fight me? I know a lot of times we say, just get the camera, just start. That don't mean this is for everybody, though. But you'll never know if it's for you. Am I blurry? You'll never know it's for you if you don't start. I wholeheartedly don't feel like YouTube is for everybody. I feel like, or what you're doing on YouTube might not be for you. You think you're a vlogger, but you're supposed to be a natural hair channel. You think you're a natural a wig channel, and you're supposed to be a vlogger. Like, it's a lot of people's personalities and stuff you didn't even know about till they start vlogging. Which, I just feel like this is not for everybody, but it's worth a try. Should I say that? 
like I'm quick to say girl just get a camera and start recording but that don't mean this is for you just like working at Apple isn't for me just like uh, acting on a Tyler Perry play isn't for me you get what I'm saying everything isn't for everybody and I feel like honestly YouTube ain't especially if you don't have tough skin and etc did you start out getting free wigs versus getting paid yep I sure did before we knew that it was a lot of money in this and realized our work baby we was happy to get them free wigs do you understand me baby had them stacked up on the fireplace and did um yeah but when you get them numbers and you get to making these companies money that's when you start charging baby it's like my daughter started out like probably two months i keep saying my daughter because i don't want to bring anybody else up in my videos i'm traumatized y'all be traumatizing me bro um she accepted a couple of free ones then when them numbers grew now nah, you gotta give me something can't i get some lunch money at least but yeah i did start accepting free honestly if you really want to know the truth wig sponsorships the easiest sponsorships you can get if you want you work for one they gonna start hounding you I turned down over 50 sponsorships a, a month for hair because the most I could do is five, six. <laughs> it's only four weeks in a month. Four, oh, I'm so damn ghetto. It's only four weeks in a month. <laughs> so, yeah, the most hair reviews I can do in a month is probably eight. But I get over 50 requests. That's the easiest thing. So, I think for a man, it's kind of harder because... Baby, let me tell you something. The hair reviews, if you can't depend on nothing else, you can depend on the hair reviews to make you some money on YouTube. And the men don't have that luxury. I mean, they can get creative and show them on a wife or something if they, you know, straight or whatever. But, like, I think men do have to work a little harder because they don't get the same type of sponsorships that we get. So, yeah, I did accept the free wigs at first, but... I wish I would now. <laughs> yeah, I feel like we should do a color lip. I ain't did a color lip in a long time. <sighs> I'm just on my new ish right now, baby. Baby. Yeah, okay. So, where was I at? Oh, I need the phone. I need the phone. So, this question say, how do you dodge the neg negativity on YouTube? I knew this was coming. <laughs> the hate channels, the commentary channels. What you mean dodge? They got a right to their opinion. I don't like you, but shit, they got a right to their opinion. I just don't like when they include, like, other people that don't have anything to do with it. Like my ex-wife. Like, you can talk about me all day, but leave her out of it. You get what I'm saying? Like, please. I know y'all feel like that's part of my channel, but it's not. I did not have a couple's channel. So, there's really no need to mention her. Or when they reference anything that has to do with her. Because nobody know what really went on over here in my house and so to to guess at it and stuff like that is really harmful so anyway um honestly i can speak for me and a lot of youtubers because we do talk this don't bother us like that <laughs> we get a kiki out of it just like y'all do sometime when it's brought to us we don't just sit around and look at these videos of people talking about us i want to make that very clear but i just <laughs> i just um commented on this in a recent video too y'all send that to us i could be on a date chilling over here in the bed uh at the movies and here y'all come dropping a link in my dm on instagram or my whatever saying, oh, she said this about you today. And it has made me curious to go look a couple of times. And I've even responded. But I don't just sit around and wait on them to upload and watch it. Like, nobody want to hear people talking about them. And unfortunately, I mean, that's what people do. That's what people do. So, like, it, I mean, it's no different to me than... Me getting up every day watching TMZ or me being a follower of the shade room. I just don't like when it's made up and fabricated or, you know, because a lot of people who don't know about us will start believing 
what they say and a lot of times that's just their opinion or they just don't like us have you ever stopped talking to someone and they linked up with other people that don't like you <laughs> that's what those channels feel like because what happens is they say something bad about us and then a lot of people who already don't like us flock over there to where they can leave they come in and talk about us in the comments the, and, the, and it's just like I always I don't know child I don't be caring Baby, they talked about Jesus Christ. And I can only speak for myself. I don't go looking for it. But yeah, there have been times people have sent me a link and said, uh, they saying this. And which I don't like that either. Because as the messenger, it's like bringing it to me. Why don't you say something in the comments? Why don't you be like, don't do my girl plat like that? You get what I'm saying? But it is what it is. It is what it is. I, I don't like it, but... What, am I supposed to like it? <laughs> I, I What am I going to let it do? Stop me from working? Stopping me from getting a bag? Stop depress me? Have me at the hospital stressed out? Mm -mm. Bust down middle boy. Mm -mm -mm. Let's see if we got any more guys. And what we going to do with these lips? Because we done her hair makeup. I might flatten this out some more. I don't like how that looks. Let me tell y'all, tell y'all this all the time. This is how I like my hair. I like it like back off my face like that. <laughs> so anyway, anyway. I mean, I was doing good with all positive questions and then there come that one. Not not saying you ain't wrong for asking it, hell. I said ask me anything. But it was real positive, wasn't it? So yeah, I think that's I've touched everything. Start the channel, give it a try. If it don't work, switch up, try something new. If that don't work, this must not be for you. Get monetized, have fun. Stop worrying about the numbers and stuff so much and just have fun. And make that shmoney. Or help people. I like to help people. Like, do you know how much of a, oh, I'm getting excited now, how excited I get when y'all be like, I went to this store, I knew nothing about it, and I got that, I usually pay this for this, or, I'm so glad you found this store in Dallas because I used to pay this for this. Like, I get such a kick out of that. It's like a thrill. I gotta go, y'all. <laughs> I'm like, kaboom. <laughs> but yeah, that's all of the questions, guys. I just love Eunice hair. I I've never had a bad unit from them, ever. All right, so if you enjoyed this video, please subscribe to my channel. It helps me out a whole lot. Give me a big thumbs up. Leave a comment. What question? I am about to do another questions and answer. I asked the questions on Instagram, though, like I said, about my health. You can ask any questions about menopause, the parasites I had, how am I doing stress-wise after my divorce, all of that. It's going to be a health update question and answer so i love you guys i hope you enjoyed if you have any more questions you can leave them below and i'll try my best to help you all and get to this money <laughs> see you all in my next video